dear students today once again i am back with second episode with new topic hope you all are doing well but remember stay home to stay safe dear children we have learned about letters vowels consonants word and sentence in the previous episode so today in this second episode we are going to read about noun so before starting our class dear children please be ready with your materials like grammar book exercise copy pencil eraser and sharpener You all are ready. Now let's begin our class. So today's our topic is noun. Noun. What is noun, dear children? Noun. Dear children, everything in the world has a name. Like we can see in our environment. or around us we can see many people like father mother brother sister friends teacher it is see are the name of person and names of places like darchula sangari india china america it is see are the names of places likewise we see many animals around us like cow dog buffalo elephant tiger pigeon crow parrot it is see are the names of animals likewise we see many things around us i see here marker coffee whiteboard chart fan computer mobile it is see are the names of things so let's read the definition of a noun here in the chart i have written definition of a noun or any words so what is noun noun is the name of a person place animal or a thing once again i repeat noun is the name of a person place animal or thing it is also known as naming words so let's write some examples of nouns the person like or if we have discussed names of person like father mother friends vita sarita john etc are the names of person in the same way names of places we visit many places around us like we visit home hospital school like park
the names of places. And next, names of animals. Around us, we see many animals like dog, cat, goat, parrot, crow, elephant, etc. are the names of animals. Names of things. Like books, pencil. In our school we see many things like table, chair, chart. are the names of things. Children, let's make one sentence including these nouns person, place, animal or thing. Let's make a sentence. Nikki and her dog and her dog are playing with football in the Nikki and her dog are playing with football in the park. So here in this sentence, Nikki is the name of a person and dog is the name of animal and football is the name of thing and park is the name of Please, so we can easily see this sentence. Nikki is the name of person. Dog is the name of animal. Football is the name of thing. And the park is the name of what? Place. Hope you understand about noun. Dear children, we have learned about noun. Now let's read various types of noun types of noun there are different types of noun different types of nouns first one is proper noun Second is common noun. Third one is collective noun. Fourth one is abstract noun. one is material noun. The sixth one is singular and
different types of nouns, proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun, material noun, and singular plural noun. So, among these nouns, we gonna read about only three types of noun. Proper noun, common noun, Sorry, collective noun. We are going to read about four types of noun and singular plural noun. Dear children, there are different types of nouns. Let's discuss one by one. First one is proper noun. So, what is proper noun? So, proper noun is the name of a particular person, place, animal or thing. Here I have read the definition of proper noun. Look into the whiteboard. A proper noun is the name of a particular person, animal, place or thing. Once again I repeat. A proper noun is the name of a particular person, animal, place or thing. Proper noun is also known as special noun. And one important thing we have to remember is proper noun always begins with capital letter and ends with full stop. So let's write some examples of proper noun. Person. Person like boys. Name of the boys. Mohan. Ram. Johnny. Etc. Are the names of boys. Like names of girls, Sarita, Maya, Sita, etc. are the name given to girls. So these are proper nouns. In the same way, Name of animals. At home we keep names of animals like dog, Tommy. We call them by names like Ruby. etc. We give different names to the animals. We call them by their name. So these names of animals are proper noun. Name of places like Dachula is the name of a place. Kathmandu is also name of a place. Likewise, India, China are also names of particular places. Names of things. Things around us like 
I have mobile here. It has a name. Vivo. Vivo is the particular name of this mobile. Vivo. Vivo mobile. Like Sony TV is the particular name of a TV. Like we wear different clothes. These have brands, names like Nike. Adidas, etc, etc. So hope you have learned some examples of proper noun. Let's write one example, one sentence of proper noun. Like, let's write one sentence to make more clear about proper noun. Rahul Rahul lives in Kathmandu Here in this sentence what is proper noun? Rahul is a proper noun because Rahul is a particular name given to a boy and Kathmandu is also a proper noun. Why? Because Kathmandu is a particular name given to a place. So Rahul and Kathmandu are proper noun in this sentence. Children, let's understand more about proper noun. Here in the whiteboard, I have written some points that we have to remember is names of rivers are also proper noun like Gandagi, Koshi, Karnali, etc. are the names of rivers and these are proper nouns. The same way, names of days Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are the names of days. So these are also proper nouns. Names of months January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December are names of months. So these are also proper noun. Names of mountains, Mount Everest, Mount Api, Mount Annapurna, etc. are the names of mountains. These are also proper nouns. Names of religions like Hindu, Islam, Buddhism, Christian, Sikhism, etc. are also proper noun. Hope you understand about proper noun. We have learned about proper noun. Now let's read about common noun. What is common noun? Common noun is the name given to any person, place, animal or thing. Again, let's look into the chart. Here I have a definition of a common noun. What is common noun? A common noun is the name of a person, place or thing of the same kind or class. Like here we have some difference between proper noun and common noun. In common noun, it is the name of a particular person, place, animal or thing. But in common noun, it is and it is name of any person, place, or thing. In proper noun, always 
it begins with capital letter nouns begin with capital letter but in common noun it does not begin with capital letter so let's write some examples of common noun like girl girl is a common noun as girl can be anyone without a specific name girl does not have any name and like boy boy is a common noun boy is a common noun as boy can be any boy without a specific name it does not have any name like father mother etc father and mother are also common noun as it does not have any specific name of these noun so these are common nouns do you know children in our school in our class we see many things around us like whiteboard duster chart clock these are also common nouns children let's make one sentence of a common noun like the dog is barking at old man here in this sentence the dog is barking at old man what is common noun here dog is common noun and old man is also common noun because dog does not have any specific name and old man also does not have any specific name so dog and old man are common nouns hope you understand about common noun we have learned about proper and common noun now next is collective noun so what is collective noun naming the group of people animals or things are collective nouns let's look into the definition of collective noun what is a collective noun a collective noun is a group of words used to name of people animals or things once again i repeat a collective noun is a group of words used to name of people animals or things so let's write some examples of collective noun first one is a bunch of keys or grapes sentence bunt is a collective noun the second is a class of students in this sentence class is a collective noun because group of students are collective nouns next is a herd of elephants or sheep in this sentence herd is a collective noun next a feet of 
collective noun. And Just S to singular noun, 
like H A T H A T S heads by adding just S to the singular noun like book. Now next rule is we add es to noun that ends in that ends in ch that ends in ch sh o s
examples of singular and plural noun that ends with these words and it will form and we have to add es at the end of these words so it will form plural and now next rule is is if the singular noun ends with y and there is consonant before y then we have to remove y and add ies like one example let's write one example baby now look into this singular noun here y is at the end and in front of i before i there is b what is b we have learned about vowel and consonant in previous episode so b is a what consonant so before y there is b consonant so we have to remove y we have to remove y and add i e s so let's write b a b i have removed y so and we have to add i e s i e s babies understood now in the same way let's write next example pony p o n y in this singular noun y ends and before y there is n what is n and is also a consonant so we have to remove y and add i e s to the end p o n y we have to remove y at the end and add we we have to add i e s o n e s understood in the same way if the singular noun ends with y and there is vowel before y then we have to we have to add simply s at the end of singular noun like let's write example t o y toy so in this singular noun noun y is at the end and before y there is o there is o what is o yes we have learned about vowel and consonant o is a vowel a e i o u is a vowel so y we have to just add s in front of y t o y s toys in first case we have to remove y we have to remove y at the end and add i e s at the end to form singular singular na to form sorry to form plural noun but in this case if there is o if there is vowel before y then we have to just add s at the end let's write next example c h i m e n y chimney so sorry so in this singular noun before y there is e what is e e is a vowel so we have to just add s to the end of y C H I M N E Y S chimneys. Hope you.
understood. Now, next rule is now if singular noun ends with F and F E ends with F or F E then the 
example of singular and plural noun. Hope you understand about singular and plural noun. Dear children, here are some examples of singular and plural noun. Let's read the examples. Stick. Sticks is a plural form of stick. Bench. Benches. Box. Boxes. Potato. Potatoes. Stomach. Stomachs. Knife. Knives. Thief. Thieves. Roof. Roofs. Safe. Safes. Baby. Babies. Boy. Boys. Goose. Thank you.